So there's a general assumption around myself and a lot of other Call of Duty YouTubers that are genuinely good at the game that we somehow all are cheating somehow or use Cronuses, which is like, I think the main accusation that like a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers get is you're using a Cronus. No, you're using a Cronus. This person's using a Cronus. You know what I'm saying? Like apparently every good Call of Duty YouTuber is using a Cronus nowadays. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you on a trip into my YouTube comments and just show you guys some really non-intelligent people, I guess you could say. He is cheating for sure. I know a legit game gameplay is compared to cheating gameplay not only that look at his best kilo loadout i used this two days ago and it did not give me aimbot he's talking about this video right here my new aimbot kilo i i don't think people realize that that's just like a, a it's a high click through rate uh type of title and thumbnail you know what i'm saying like it gets people to click on the video it's not actually aimbot it's funny how people somehow get misled by that like stop cheating lad Does anybody ever report you for hacking well if i got killed by you i would think twice dude you are so clearly hacking bro is hacking like how are you moving like that dude i don't understand how people just like uh, like just get good bro get good i literally have like three videos specifically on movement it's not that hard to slide cancel and bunny hop and then here we go we got the people you know accusing me of using a cronus this guy says i'm using a zen and then this guy thinks i'm using a cronus max pro like i said man if you have like any sort of following when it comes to youtube especially tiktok that's one thing for sure even twitch you're gonna get accused for you know using some sort of hack or cheat whether you're on controller keyboard and mouse you're gonna get accused of using a no recoil macro wall hacks aimbot cronus maxes it's just it's just simply how you you know you're gonna have to deal with that when it comes to being a cod content creator i'm probably gonna be the most real cod youtuber right now okay this is how you guys know i'm real i do have a cronus max but i don't use it man i feel like that cronus is get a bad name because uh people you know they buy or download scripts that give you no recoil and stuff like that but what the cronus was originally advertised for was to make it so you can use any sort of controller on any sort of console so pretty much you know i have a ps4 scuff impact controller and then pretty much what i could do for that is you know for example i have an xbox 360 so if i wanted to go back and play black ops 2 or mw2 mw3 those are some of my favorite uh og call of duties i could simply get my cronus but i don't know where it is because i just moved and everything pretty much got misplaced but let's say one of these days i do find it when i fire up my 360 i could actually use my ps4 controller on the 360 vice versa if i wanted to use a xbox 360 controller on the ps4 i could do that as well you can go any sort of uh direction any sort of inputs whatever like that it's super cool unfortunately though some youtubers do actually abuse the cronus and do use it for no recoil scripts i can name like five off the top of my head that do use it currently or have previously used it but i'm not that type of person to spit out names so i'm just gonna do me you know let's take a look at the back of my pc real quick i don't have a cronus back here as you guys can tell i'm trying to get a there you go no cronus back there no cronus on the front usb ports so yeah man with that being said we're gonna be kind of doing like an educational commentary plus a hand cam in today's video i thought i might as well do like two in one because it's uh not really a big question i guess you could say in my comments but it's definitely something that some people want some people want a hand cam some people want an educational commentary when i drop right off spawn mid game late game stuff like that so i just thought i would combine both in the one real quickly man i'm gonna give you guys a brief rundown of my whole entire setup with the pc my controller and everything like that so real quickly here's a brief rundown of my controller settings really just you know the general things as you guys can tell right here right here man this is ds4 windows this is what i use to use custom dead zones on top of the dead zone that i already have in modern warfare so you guys can use dead zone on here and as you guys can tell right here where my cursor is i have basically a 0.5 millisecond input delay if you do not have ds4 windows plus this program right here pretty much where is my controller right here as you guys can tell i have 1000 rate and everything like that so that's pretty much how you guys have minimal input delay on controller it's literally what every uh, controller on pc player uses and then lastly this is my controller up close I, as you guys can tell i have a scuff with a right control freak i got two paddles on the back i can use four if i wanted to but you know i just like two it's what i've been using since like 2014. with that being said before we jump into the video here's the post notification shadow up on the screen if you guys want to win one in a future video be sure to hit the sub button turn on the post notification bell and comment down below hashtag bell game once you guys are finish man to get a shout out all right so i usually drop superstore and 
We do have a good drop for Super this time. We got two buys and uh, a few contracts we could possibly use as well. We are a little bit far away though, but one thing that I would always recommend doing when flying down is to free look because not only can you see if there's people above you that might shoot at you, but you can get a general idea of how many people are gonna land with you. So there's nobody above me right now, so I'm good when it comes to getting shot at. And there's not really too many people in front of me from what I can tell. So there's a couple people going here. What I'm going to try to do right now is I'm going to try to land super quick. Maybe get a long range gun so I can beam these guys out of the sky. What do we got right here? We got a ram right here. Armor off on that dude. Um, this is gonna be a little bit weird playing right now because oh, I hear a guy under me. <laughs> guy's a little bit angry as you guys can tell. Yeah, and I also it might be a little bit of a big question. Uh, how do you plate up while side canceling at the same time? Literally just, I play claw while I'm doing it. I could also slide cancel while playing claw, somewhat. I wanted to get really good at it. I have to practice it some, but um, as far as I know, there might have only been one other person that went superstore, so we should be good to loot up at that point. That window isn't broken, so that means nobody landed here. We got our heartbeat, so we can definitely check. And now at this point, we got oh, there is somebody here. Uh, he's... Probably going up the staircase right now. I can't hear the metal. Yeah, he's definitely on that. So, what I did basically right there is just from past experience, I knew that that wall was wall bangable pretty much. I already do from past experience because that happened to me before one time. We can get a loadout. We're also gonna get a UAV. And I had a Deddy, but I wanna go find a trophy. There it is, okay, I knew I saw one. All right, so now we can get our loadout. We have a car and a UAV. We literally have everything that we need right now. Um, I'm not gonna get self res quite yet because I already have, or I don't, I didn't use my Gulag yet. So, right now we're chilling when it comes to that. One person here, I might just go to that guy. So this guy actually had a dead silence. But, um, kind of just read him like a book right there as well as I knew he wasn't outside because of the UAV. So we got another UAV. Go oh, for this guy over here. He's on top of a building, so it might be a little bit difficult to push. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get an airstrike real quickly. So if he is still up on that building, when we get over there, we can force him down. Okay, so he is actually still up there. Okay, so he is on the staircase, confirmed. If that guy had his stopping power rounds on, I probably would be dead. He is actually... Did he get on the train? What the f... Dead. Yo, what is... Alright, I, I don't know. I'm like, dude, that car is going to explode probably. Oh. So that wasn't the bounty. Oh, the sniper's up there. Alright, so I knew there was no trophy on the car, 
So I had to just let it go. It only did make sense that he was going to throw his C4 right there. We're going to get this bounty right quick. Um, I'm going to check Harpy real quick because I don't know how many crates drop down. All right, we only have one crate here, which means that we are the only player within a 200 meter radius of this area. This isn't really, yeah, this is not the best idea to be pushing this because zone, I can just hold that guy in zone though. That's gonna be my plan once I get a little bit further in. I'm actually gonna go over here, copy UAV and a self res real quick. Honestly, I might just say forget the bounty. I'm taking his good old time over there and I don't feel like getting a pickle just going for one guy. Especially so actually in the move down this side. Brother, how are you not dead? Again, I can't really see that well because I'm... I'm backed up a little bit for my monitor right now, and my monitor is not the best. So unfortunately, there's someone that's like pretty far away from me. I might not be able to see him. I have tons of cash right now. And I really did not even know that this guy was in here. I just went in ADS and heard him last second. <laughs> a slow game with a, with a really, really open zone, too. Oh. Alright, that guy, I have a feeling he probably just got out of a gunfight. Unfortunate for you, pal. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up on late game right now. I knew I heard someone. You little camper. do actually have fairly good positioning. We are up on this hill right now. Yeah, we are actually in an incredibly good spot right now. Ah, I can't move. So, where is that guy at? He's gonna have to move eventually. Did he already jump down? Oh, he did. And I wish I had at least a 24 inch monitor. <laughs> kind of want to shout this dude because right now this is the only person who knows where I am. It's about to say, wouldn't it be surprised if there was a guy camping in there? So we're just going to keep making a... Uh, basically a full push around the circle. One thing you want to do is not move directly into zone. A 1v1 situation. I do not know where the last guy is. <sighs> I'm on my last- Oh, I forgot! This is so clutch. He definitely has a- Come on, Zone. Please pull to me. 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 
I can't even. And there we go, baby. That is a dub right there. Let's go, man. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That was my first game on today. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I honestly don't know how I did that. Like, dude, the circumstances right there. Holy, bro. Make sure you guys drop a like. That was insane. Anyways, though, man educational commentary plus a hand cam in one video let me know if you guys want more of these could have had more but it's a little bit of a slow game towards the middle so whatever